Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome to another planty video. So today I am actually going to be repotting a couple of my favorite plants. So I thought, why not share it with you guys? We can do it together. So as you can see by the title, I am going to be repotting my beloved pitcher plant or Nepenthes. And this is going to be really interesting because I'm going to be trying out a potting mix that is specifically for carnivorous plants. I did not even know that this was a thing, so I'm just really excited and eager to be trying this out. And then secondly, we are also going to be repotting my baby here, my philodendron silver sword. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with this plant. I've had it for probably a couple of months now. And um, I've been wanting to get it into a terracotta pot and I also want to get it on a moss pole. So we're going to be repotting it into this terracotta pot right here. And we're also going to be giving it a moss pole to climb. So very excited about that. So if you would like to come along with me on my repotting journey, keep on watching. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please feel free to subscribe and give this video a like. I've got my coffee here. Ooh, and look at this adorable mug that my mother got me for Christmas. Isn't this so cute? It says stay wild. Okay, so to start off, I'm first just gonna take you guys through the products that I'm using today, all of my supplies. So obviously we have my pitcher plant and my carnivorous plant soil here. This is by a brand called Jessie May. They actually reached out to me and sent this to me. This is in no way sponsored, but it was sent to me for free and I was just really excited about it. So I wanted to include it in the video. I have no idea what it looks like yet, so we will open this together. And then for my beautiful silver sword here, I have a, I believe this is an eight inch terracotta pot with just a little piece of net that I cut out to cover the drainage hole. I have some sphagnum moss because we're going to need that for the moss pole. I have some netting, some um, like firm plastic netting for the moss pole. I did just recently put up a video all about making a moss pole, that one actually for my Monstera adansonii. So if you want more information and a more detailed step-by-step -step video of how I do it, then I recommend watching this one. I'm just going to like quickly do it in this video. It's not going to be super in-depth, but I'll link that video if you're interested. And the potting mix that we are using for the silver sword. This is just my regular potting mix that I put most of my plants in. It is coco coir, orchid bark, charcoal, um, perlite, and I believe there is some pumice in here as well. I just like a chunky, well-draining mix. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to mix more. This isn't gonna be enough, I don't think, but um, yes, that is the mixture that I like to use. Oh, and we are going to need some scissors and zip ties for the moss pole as well. I think that's pretty much everything, so let's just hop into it. Okay, so we're gonna start with repotting the pitcher plant so then we can clear off more space on the table for the moss pole making that we're gonna do after. Okay. So this is what my pitcher plant looks like. It's January, so I think it looks pretty darn good. Um, I think I'm getting better with this guy. Last winter, I don't think he had any pitchers, and this winter he's hung on to a few. One is actually on its way out right there. You can see it's turning brown. It's gonna come off soon. By come off, I mean I'm gonna cut it off soon. <laughs> I do have a video all about how I take care of this plant. Um, I will link it if you're interested. I am by no means a carnivorous plant pro. This is the only one I have and I'm definitely a beginner. Oh my goodness, look at a little baby pitcher is coming in. I just noticed it. Um, anyways, I really love this plant. Um, so I think I'm just going to take it out and see what the roots look like. And then that'll determine whether I'm going to put it back in this size of pot. Let's just take a look and see. I don't even know what its roots look like. Oh, they're very fine. I don't think I'm gonna like really disturb the roots. I'm just gonna take off as much of the sphagnum as I can. Um, I can't really see like a whole lot. I mean, what I can see of the roots is they're just like these really fine like black roots. I don't even know if you can see and I don't know if that's normal. Hopefully that's what the roots are supposed to look like. 
Like I said, I'm a noob when it comes to these guys. Uh, can be really gentle. I wonder how you propagate, like how you take off the babies because this is like a baby offshoot from this one. It'd be so cool to take it off and have two. Do you just propagate them in water? I think so. Maybe I should Google it quickly. Hey Google, how do you propagate pitcher plants? On the website gardeningknowhow.com, they say, a faster way to propagate them is by rooting pitcher plant cuttings. Cut pieces of stem that have two or three leaves on them. Okay, let's take a look at what this potting mix looks like here. There's like sticky stuff on this thing, on the pitchers. That's unwell. I'm gonna go wash my hands. It is pouring rain outside today, you guys. Pouring. It's been pouring so much lately. There's actually flood warnings for my city. Every single day, it's just been pouring. For weeks, it feels like. <laughs> it makes me feel so unmotivated. And I have so much stuff to do, and I just found spider mites inside my cabinet. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna drink coffee and keep on going. Okay, let's take a look at this potting mix. It's so light. I wonder what is in here. Hmm, interesting. It just looks like regular potting mix, like on first glance. Very light though. They did, let me steal this back for a minute. They did, oh, I just noticed how cute their little logo is with the pictures. Okay, they did include instructions. It says to put some soil in and then to wet the soil first. So maybe I will do that. I don't know if I should put this in a bigger pot. I'm thinking maybe I should put it in like a little bit of a bigger pot so that it's good for the spring and the summer. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I am. Let me go see what, oh, you know what, this, no, it's too big. Let me go see what I have available in my pot selection. Okay, so I found this pot. I think we're gonna go with this. I feel better about that. Um, and also when I was looking for this in my closet, I found a whole bunch of um, potting mix supplies that I didn't know I had. I thought I needed more orchid bark and um, perlite and everything. And I found fresh bags of all of those in there. So amazing, okay. So I think I'm just gonna line the bottom with some of this sphagnum because I don't want the soil to go right through the holes. Put some of these big chunks back in. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. I will definitely keep you guys updated on how this plant is doing in here because, you know, this is just a learning process. Oh yeah, they said to wet it first. Should I do that? I guess so. Sorry, buddy. The pitchers get full of water and I wonder if that's bad or if that's supposed to happen. If anybody knows, can you please let me know down below? Okay, so it said to wet it and kind of compress it. So that's what I did. And now I'm gonna pop this guy in. Oh my goodness, he's in such a big pot now. So cute. Okay, um, I'm gonna fill it up with this now.
in his new home. I'm really excited to see how he does and I feel good knowing that he's in a potting mix made specifically for carnivorous plants. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated like I said and let you know my thoughts. But yes, I'm sure he will be happy. I will insert some footage of him all cleaned up once I water him and um, get this dirt off of his leaves. Okay, and my Nepenthes is going to live here, I think, for a little bit under the grow lights. It's not normally under the grow lights, but because it is the dead of winter, I just, I don't know, want to give it a little bit more supplemental light. So that's what I'm going to do. There's some dirt. Some dirt on him. And of course, as always, I am open to tips about this guy because I am a beginner when it comes to pitcher plants. Um, hopefully he does well in this soil mixture. I will of course keep you updated on that as well. But I'm really happy with how he looks in this pot and I think that he will do well. Okay, so now we are going to be doing the moss pole for the silver sword and then we're gonna repot it with the pole. I want it to be quite tall. I might want it to be this, of this full length. I think I do. So, cause it's just, it's just much easier to make a tall pole to begin with than to have to add extensions after. Probably like, I don't know. It doesn't need to be super thick. Maybe like that. I just like eyeball it. <laughs> okay. That's what we're working with, folks. Oops. So I'm literally just gonna fill it up with my moss here. Maybe I can even sit down. Oh yeah, that's nice, okay. Okay, okay. The other day I was thinking, I have these bamboo stakes and I was thinking maybe I should put them inside my moss holes. I'm gonna go get one and see if I can use it. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I just have these bamboo stakes from like Home Depot or somewhere like that. And I think I'm gonna use it like this and then this part can go into the pot. Is that a good idea? Will that be sturdy? I guess we will find out. Okay, I'm just gonna go with it. stuff with moss now I'm going to zip tie it closed and if there's anywhere that I need to add moss I will just add it in as I go it's supposed to be like pretty tight and compact so just keep that in mind if you make one <laughs>
I think it's pretty securely fastened at this point. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it should do the trick. And these zip ties are all gonna be at the back anyways. I couldn't find any black ones, so that's why they're colorful, but I'm just gonna snip them off and then this thing is pretty much finished. <laughs> with my handiwork I used to dread the idea of making moss poles but it's actually not bad it's kind of satisfying so okay I'm just gonna set this aside because we need to get this guy into its new pot okay so all right so I'm just gonna fill our pot up here my goodness I'm running out of room <laughs> So it's filled up about a third of the way with potting mix. We're gonna take this guy out and have a peek here. healthy roots oh my goodness that's so nice all right just gonna gently remove some of the potting mix yeah this is a super dense mix that it's in so I'm really glad that it's going into something a lot more airy just gonna like gently loosen some of the roots They're pretty compact I don't want to tear them okay I'm not gonna take that much potting mix off of it I guess because I don't want to tear apart all of these roots so let's see well that'll be perfect then I'll just fill the rest up okay so I'm gonna figure out where I want my moss pole to go now probably like here at the back. Okay, that'll be perfect. So I'm gonna fill it with some more potting mix while uh, while holding on to this pole. some more potting mix so I'm just going to pray that this does not topple over on me okay we're good so I'm just gonna fill the rest up Okay, all of the repotting is done. I am now just going to fasten it on here with some of my plant Velcro. Just gonna
Okay, so that is the final product. I just put one little strip of Velcro here, and then once it grows a little bit more, I'll put another one. I think it's actually putting out another new leaf right now, so I'm just, ugh, I'm so excited. I love this plant so much, and it's going to be absolutely incredible when it starts growing up the pole. I'll show you guys how big the pole is. Like, it has so much room to grow. Oh my goodness. I might have went a little overboard, but you know what? We've just got high hopes for her, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna put her under uh, on the floor in the plant room so she'll grow up towards the Mars Hydro grow lights um, Yeah, I'll insert a clip of what both of these plants look like all cleaned up Okay, so here is the silver sword. It is going to live on the floor in my plant room here Like I said, it's near the humidifier. You can see the mist coming down um, my plant room is actually my old bedroom now. They are switched, so it's much bigger. I will have to show it to you guys sometime soon. I'm still getting it situated. But, um, yeah, I think that this guy is going to do really well on his new pole. It's so tall. Oh my goodness. I want him to grow, like, a little bit more this way. So I think I'm just going to, like, situate him facing that way so that he can kind of turn towards the light a little bit more but yeah i'm of course going to keep you guys updated on how he does i am just so thrilled about this plant so i'm super excited to have it on poles i'm obsessed with poles i just want like all of my plants on poles that can climb so yes i'll keep you posted Okay, so I will sign off. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support. Don't forget to give this video a like if you haven't. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below, as well as leave me a comment because that really helps me out on the YouTube algorithm. And if you would like to support my channel even further, I do have a Patreon with bonus content that will all be linked down below. Okay, thank you guys so much. Bye.